Nitrogen out of all the crop inputs is probably one of the most expensive today. Uh, we've seen a huge rise in the cost per unit of nitrogen going from last year to this year. And it's an input that we really need to manage more carefully. We've been looking in terms of what's new in technical developments on that front. And we found that there are in fact five new technologies surrounding nitrogen and its application to the crop. We're looking at two products that are basically made up of a bacterial suspension that when they're sprayed onto the foliage of crops they convert atmospheric nitrogen to nitrate therefore giving the crop nitrogen directly through the leaves. If there's a year that that's going to prove itself as a technology it must be this year uh, with the drought that we've had and the restricted uptake of nutrients through roots and through dry soils. The other two products that we're looking at um, are urease inhibitors and when you apply urea to a soil it has to go through various breakdown stages to get to a usable form that the plant can use. So urease is an enzyme that converts the initial urea to ammonia and then it goes, that ammonia goes through several more changes to nitrate. So by slowing down the urease activity it's allowing uh, the breakdown to be more slowly uh, over, a sl over a longer period of time so therefore there's not too much ammonia lying around to be volatilized to the atmosphere if we're faced with hot dry conditions especially on very high pH soils. We're also looking at another technology which is actually um, coated urea prills with a biodegradable polymer coating and again it's a physical slow release agent to allow not too much uh, you know, volatilization to take place at any one time. So there are some quite interesting uh, innovations here on that nitrogen side that we're looking into in private trials in Valcourt throughout the company and uh, we're very much looking forward to seeing the results of those later this year.